Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. So this is a quick update of Filmora 11 video. Today I'm going to show you five interesting new features in Filmora 11.6.6. .6. So I have no idea why they just upgrading new feature and new feature all the time. By the way, this feature are very interesting. So I'm very happy to show you, okay? All right, so this is my Filmora 11 and in order to check for update, you can go to have and about. So this is my current version. It is 11.6.6, .6, which is the latest one. And if you want to get this version, you can just reinstall the software. I will put the link in the description for you to download and reinstall it. Okay, and for those of you who want to purchase Filmora lifetime license, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code in the description also. Okay. So let's talk about the first one. We use the quick split mode and previously we have the quick split mode in the program, but we don't have a shortcut to switch between quick split and selection tools. So that is very annoying. And now we have a shortcut to switch from quick split mode to normal selection tools in the program. Okay, so let me show you. For example, I have a video here, just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now if I want to quickly split the video into different sections, all I need to do is to press C on my keyboard to change it to quick split mode. And now we have a razor tool like this. And for example, we can go through the video and we want to split at this position. Okay, just click here to split and go to another position and then split. And now if we want to go back to the selection tool, the normal tools in Filmora, 11. All we need to do is to press V on our keyboard. Just press V. And now we have the selection tool. Okay, for example, we can select here and delete this part of the video. So that is C for quick split and V for selection. So this is the first new feature in Filmora 11.6.6. .6. And the second one is the ability to arrange your toolbar or rearrange your the button on the toolbar menu here on the timeline. For example, if I want to select the video here and we have different option here, different button here on top of the timeline. And now it is possible to rearrange this button. For example, I can click this button, custom toolbar. Okay, just click here. And now we have a bunch of different tool or button here. If you want to show any button, all we need to do is to click at this button and then drag and drop it on the toolbar. Okay, so it is very easy, right? And you can do the same or vice versa. You want to remove one button. For example, I want to remove this one. All you need to do is to click it on the toolbar and then drop it at this area, okay, to remove this one. Very nice, right? And by the way, I want to bring back my split tool. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. So this is the second new feature in Filmora 11. And let's click save. And the next option is the ability to turn on and off the timeline snap in the program. For example, let me show you what I mean. Uh, we have two video here. This is the first one and this is the second one. When we drag it to the here and then we want to put them close together or to snap with each other. All we need to do is to click at the second video and then just bring it closer to closer to the first one. Okay, and it will snap with each other. By the way, in some case, you may disable the timeline snap uh, by right click and disable it right here. And now it is not possible to snap anymore. When you drag the first, uh, the second one closer to the first one, it will overlap the first one. So this is not the timeline snap in the program. And now we have a new button. This is the button to enable or disable the timeline snap. Okay, just click here to enable it. And now if we if we move two clip close to each other, we will see the green line, vertical line here. This is the timeline snap. Okay. It is very nice. So that is the third new feature in Filmora 11.6.6. .6. And the next one is the ability to add text to your video with just one click. Okay. For example, I want to 
put my playhead here at this position and I want to add a simple text to this position normally you will have to go to title and then select a basic title or a template or stuff like that but now all you need to do is to click this button quick text okay just click here and it will add a title box here on the timeline a simple one a default one okay so this is the text and of course you can double click at the title and then change it to your name anything okay and you can even format it with word art and add animation to this text or something like that okay it is very easy so this is a new way to add text to your video which is very interesting and very useful feature in Filmora 11.6 okay and the last interesting feature is the ability to view your screen vertically or horizontally with just one click and for example I have a project here if I change it to vertical okay just click here to change the project setting to a vertical video with short or Instagram or stuff like that just change it to 9 by 16 and then I'm going to click OK and now if you want to reveal this one on a bigger screen all you need to do is to click this button this is the new button in Filmora 11.6 okay just click here to view vertically and you can just click this button to come back to normal all right very nice right all right so that's everything you want to know about this new version if you want to upgrade then just reinstall the software or go ahead to the link i put in the description i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye